So today I'm going to do a demo on how to spray new plasterboard or gyprock or drywall, whichever you like to call it. Now before you go through and spray, um, you need to dust off all the joins and in this case we go through and actually roll the joins with a roller first. Um, with the, the rolling, I probably thin the paint down about 20% just to make sure it soaks right into um, the flushing compound. You want it so it makes sure it sticks. Uh, once we've done that, we'll go through and give all these areas a light sand, um, just to obviously smooth them off a bit. So now with the spraying, I use a, um, a 213 tip. And what I do with the 213 is I'll go through and I'll spray all the corners. Now these haven't been painted at all as yet, so I'll put a nice wet coat on the corner. Once again, make sure the paint actually soaks into the corner. So I'll just do that now. So it's a nice wet coat in the corner and that'll soak in. So once I've done that, make sure my safety's on, remove the tip. Then I've got a, a 515 that I use for the rest of it. Now I'll just make sure this is clear before I start. So with the walls, I'll start the walls first. Now when I'm painting them, I'll actually paint the cornice or the moulding in with the walls and then afterwards I'll go through and do the ceiling. But generally I'll always start at the top and work my way down. The reason for this is when you're coming down, if there's any dirt and dust on the floor, it'll actually blow away. So you start at the top. Now if I put my tip in straight, it would be handy. slowly work your way along the wall. Now using a smaller tip, you've got a lot more control over the amount of paint you put on. Now this is a little bit thin, so I'll just go back over that. So I know people will say use a 17 thou or a 19 thou tip, um, but I find the 15 is ample. You can get a nice even coat on there um, and you can take a little bit more time, a little bit more, little bit more time and care and you'll get a nice finish. So I'll go through, I'll spray the walls and then I'll come back and do the ceiling. Now I've gone through and sprayed all the walls and as you can see I've also sprayed the, the cornice or the moulding at the same time. Now when it comes to spraying the ceilings, um, there are different methods that people do. Some like to basically hold the gun and walk all the way along and spray a section. Now I find it's a little bit um, easier just to do it in sections, like do half the ceiling and then do the other half. When you try to walk along and do it continuous, you have the chance of tripping over things. So what I find is this is the best way to, to spray a ceiling. By doing it this way, you've got total control all the time 
and as I said you haven't got that risk of tripping over something and um, making a mistake. So I'm going to do this other section over here, and when I do it, I'll basically just blend into what I've just done. So now what we'll do is we'll let this dry and then we'll go through and do the, the remaining coats.